Alright, so switch out the Vashi and welcome to my You'd think with all this fighting we'd get a little um, futuristic R and R. Maybe send it to the great strip bars through history or something. I'm gonna say tenth part of Let's Play Darkest of Days, but I could be entirely wrong. But anyway, in this part, we're actually going No, it's ninth part, I think. Or is it tenth part? Nine or ten, probably, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, um in this part I'm gonna do the battle I actually did in the demo it's the uh, Harvest of Carnage, it's the Battle of Antietam and uh, it's going to be the final Civil War mission in this little little uh, uh, this list is here be an old fashioned clusterfuck right here not like those new fashioned clusterfucks into some of the deadliest hours of American history and it's going to be uglier than an orangutan's afterbirth oh god I love that the cornfield fight was one of the bloodiest clashes of Antietam this one small patch of ground went back and forth between the Union and Confederates more than 11 times. By noon, there wasn't even a stock of corn left standing. Now stick with your fellow soldiers. As sick as it sounds, they're your living body armor, and there's going to be a lot of lead in the air. Remember, you ain't there for them. You're there to find Welsh. He'll be in the cornfield somewhere. You keep your eye out for him and get him out of there. Get clear of the battle and head toward Dunker Church while avoiding Confederate patrols. We'll find a way to get you home somehow. In the meantime, follow orders, don't draw attention to yourself, and by God, don't try to be a hero. I just love, I just love that every other soldier in the Union Army doesn't care except Welsh, who was like a supply clerk or some shit. <laughs> Only important guy. Alright. Hey, I wonder where that guy who just appeared out of the blue bubble came from. Oh, I don't know. Alright. Nice, I got the repeating rifle this time. And the, uh, the musket. Let's move out. I don't have to do anything here. This is all just totally automated. I can just stand here and uh, I move my guy with my mind, right? Because, as you all know, I'm sonically linked to my character right now. Or, or just throughout the entire game. You, you think that I'm actually touching the keys and moving the character, but I'm not. It's all done through mental processes and cognitive reactions between neurons and the particles in the air around me. Arr I can't yell for slavery this time, which makes it far less interesting. Why am I using this thing? I'm going to use the uh, repeating rifle. Just cut down these poor guys. Wait, maybe this was not a good idea. Because I could actually have saved that ammo for something useful. I'll switch back to the musket. I like the musket because it's one shot, one kill all the time. And I can all lo I can load it like three times faster than any one of my team can. But now I get to abandon the my. Wait, what the hell's going on? Why can't I move? Okay, maybe I have to kill more Confederates before I can move. I think this is why they never. There we go. Hey, now I can leave my guys to die a horrible death at the hands of the conf cons yeah, superior confederate forces. I think that's why no one ever made a game where you just stood in a firing line. It would be boring. I totally missed him. I should have aimed down the sights. But even then... But it's the, the one thing that bothers me about this game is how ridiculously accurate your... Uh, I just killed the blue aura guy. Thanks, thanks a lot, friend. Ooh, how ridiculous the rifle is. Die! Bayonet! Bayonet! There we go. I just wiped out the entire Confederate force. 
Oh no, there's still one guy left. In the face! In the face! Okay, anyway, but... Oh, shit, I jammed it. No, but one thing that always bothered me was the, um... Switch for the Colt. Was the accuracy of the musket. Because in reality, muskets are nowhere near that accurate. I actually had a big long discussion with this when, uh, with one of my friends from the dorm about why muskets are so inaccurate. Because there's nothing... When you push it down the barrel, there's nothing to hold the ball in place. So when the ball shoots out of the barrel, it's kind of ricocheting along the sides of it because there's nothing to hold it there. So in essence, it makes it ridiculously inaccurate. And you can never actually aim down the sights and hope to shoot where you're shooting because the bullet will be ricocheting all around the barrel and never go in a straight line. Anyway, something like that. It's nasty shit out there, huh? Isn't it great to fight at the Battle of Antietam? Yes, really something. And how you missed it the first time around? Yeah, you can thank me later. Take this gun and engage in some numerical adjustment out there. That <sighs> means you turn back the Confederate advance, bust open their line, find Welsh, and get both your asses out of here. I, li I like for guys who stress historically inaccurate, oh, sorry, historical accuracy so much, they're pretty gung-ho on giving you, like, um, ridiculously overpowered weapons to distort historical accuracy. Oh, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Nothing, because you're dead now. Aren't I just so subtle about this this whole futuristic weapon thing? One thing I love in this game is how they've they've got um they've got your NPCs kind of set up in a firing uh, firing platoon with a volley of fire. I think that's so cool. I think that's just unbelievably cool. And you think the Confederates would advance on you with the uh, volley fire techniques, but uh, I guess they're far more keen to do it just one at a time. And not to mention, it seems like my forces totally outnumber the Confederate forces considerably. I don't know why I really needed to use this thing. I think we could have beat him regardless, because it doesn't look like a, two of my guys died. Whatever. I'm gonna... Whoa, shit. I'm gonna hide behind my guys so I don't get mowed over by Confederate volleys. People are asking me what I think of this game. I, I should probably, I'll default to that sooner or later. But so far, I actually think this game is uh, pretty fun. I've been reading some reviews for it. They've, if they've given it like low as like 4.0. Uh, I don't think it's the greatest game in the world, but I certainly don't think it deser it's deserving of a 4.0 score. Because there's a lot of fun novelty value to be had in there. Shit, I'm getting owned. Oh well, I broke their defenses. That was pretty easy, actually. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go get Welsh. Shit, what the hell's going on? Let me use my musket. Because I'm hardcore like that. <laughs> six, six guys in a hole. I ain't keen on dying in this cornfield, so why don't we head up there? Come on, come on. Ooh. Alright, let's go guys, let's go. 